3, 2, 1, and action. Hi guys, this Oliver, the first ever video of 2023. Happy New Year for everyone. I hope you had a wonderful New Year as well as a wonderful Christmas. Unbelievable that we're actually in 2023. 2023 it looks to be an awesome year, especially for movies. I'm so hyped for all the movies coming out this year. Well, I will be doing most anticipated movies 2023 video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we are kicking off 2023 with a bang with another Q&A Ask Me Anything video. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I haven't done one of these videos since way back before I moved to the old Recommend 2 point house. So this is the first ever Q&A video in the brand new house and the Oliver Recommend 2 point house. So super exciting. As always, you have to bring your snacks to the Q&A video. The amazing traditions. I got my Stranger Things Sour Patch Kids ready and I got my Black Adam energy drink ready. So yeah, without further ado, the first time saying it in 2023. Let's do this. Are you excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? Ah, I'm not that excited for the movie, to be honest. I'm a little bit excited for the movie. I'm excited to see Paul Rudd as Ant-Man. Paul Rudd is a great actor, a really funny guy. I love Paul Rudd. To be honest, I should be excited for this movie because I have both the first two Ant-Man movies on Blu-ray. I love the first two Ant-Man movies. They, they are really funny. I should be excited for this movie, to be honest. I'm really excited to see Kang again. Kang the Conqueror, I'm so excited. and I love his suit, his brand new suit for this movie. It looks really good. I love green and purple, it looks really good. The thing that makes me not excited for the movie is that it's like the most, most of the movie is just them in the quantum realm. And I think in, in Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think the CGI in the quantum realm looked really good. But here, here the, the, the CGI looks terrible, like, what is this crap? I don't get it. I don't understand the, the CGI in the Marvel movies and shows, it always looks terrible. I don't get it. It, it, it. To be honest, it looks like Spy Kids 3D. So yeah, I'm not that excited for this movie. I'm gonna watch it when it comes out, but I'm just sick and tired of Marvel content. I'm drained at Marvel content. They just pump out so much shit. Quantity over quality, they just pump out so much. I'm just tired. <sighs> as excited as I am to see Kang in the movie, which is probably the only reason why I'm going to watch the movie in the first place. He probably only shows up in the movie for like two scenes. You only see him in the trailer for the movie in like two scenes. So he's probably not going to be in the movie that much. They're probably just marketing Kang a lot and then he's not going to be in the movie that much. And then they're just gonna bring in, bring in a dog shit bad guy instead. Um, it's like Marvel just scamming us. Avatar 1 or 2, which one did you prefer? I liked the first Avatar movie, I enjoyed it. A groundbreaking movie at the time, you know, the first 3D movie, you know, it was really cool. But I prefer the second movie because I think that as cool as the first Avatar movie was, I think that the, if the story wasn't the best, it was a, a story that we've seen millions of times already in many other movies. You know, the, the liar plot and everything like that. Not only, I think that the story is much better in the second movie than in the first movie. Uh, and also, I think uh, the, the second movie took what was good about uh, the, the first movie and improved upon it. And made it even better. And I like the characters more, I like the action more. And the action scenes were amazing. And the final battle and the climax of the movie when they were fighting at the end was so cool. And yeah, I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah, so I, I, I like both movies, but I think the second movie was just amazing. I think the first movie is just, I think it's an okay, pretty good movie. But like in the, in the first movie, I was bored at times because the story was c c predictable. But, but when I was wa watching the second movie, I was never really bored. At One or two scenes in the movie, I was bored. But besides that, I was never bored. I was always like on the edge of my seat, suspenseful. Especially towards the end when they were in the ship and they were almost drowning, you were like on the edge of your seat. I was scared, I was worried that Jake Slade was going to die in the movie, but whew, thank god he didn't. What is your most anticipated horror movie of 2023? Uh, I'm uh, most excited for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and The Nun 2. 
I'm I hyped for Winnie the Pooh Blood Honey because you know uh, turning Winnie the Pooh into a horror movie seems like a fun idea for a horror movie and the trailer that they released they promised a really good movie with some really good kills and some really good jump scare and, and it looks really scary and yeah I'm excited and I'm, all, I'm of course excited for Nun 2, I already did a f movie review of the first movie I really liked the first movie, The Nun 2 and Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey are my most anticipated horror movies of 2023 What was your favorite Christmas present? Uh, I don't know man, I, I got so much awesome Christmas presents this year So I don't know what, what was my favorite the Flashpoint comic I got was awesome. I'm excited, so excited to read this. I'm so hyped for for the Flash movie coming out June 2023, and the movie is based on this comic book. So I'm excited to read this. I actually have the book that it's based off of. And of course, the Stranger Things Sour Patch Kids are delicious. All of these, mm, delicious. And of course, the Black Adam energy drink is awesome. I can't believe I have. And an energy drink that has Black Adam on it. I love this you. And it's even cooler on the back because it's signed by Dwayne Johnson, The Rock himself. That's freaking awesome. I didn't even notice that, but then I looked at the back and man, that's so awesome. The Peacemaker Funko Pop I got is freaking awesome. It, my answer to that question is that I love all the Christmas presents I got. They were awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, worst movie of all time. Jesus Christ, everyone keeps asking me that question uh, One of my previous Q&A videos from two years ago But I'm so happy, I'm happy that that you uh, you asked that question Because my opinions always uh, change since of that I do think, I remember on Instagram when I did a QA, and uh, I said that Black Widow was one of the worst movies of all time And I, I don't agree with myself there But Black Widow is really really bad but I don't think it's the worst movie ever because yeah, at least Florence Pugh and Jelena was really good in the movie and there were some decent action scenes here and there. It's still a terrible movie, but I don't think it's the worst movie ever. So I've changed my mind, but I still think that Bloodshot is still the worst movie of all time. It was my worst movie of all time when I answered it on my YouTube channel two years ago when Elliot asked the question. And I still think it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And also Jeepers Creepers Reborn, of course. It was god awful. And, and also Alien Free. Alien Free is terrible. It's one of the worst movies I've seen. The worst movies of all time are uh, Bloodshot, Alien Free, and Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So the worst movies of all time, in my opinion. But in general, I don't know, man. I'm just one of my sorry for kids, you know. Mm. So yeah, those were all the questions. Thank you for the QA. Happy 2023, everybody. Stay tuned for the most anticipated movies of 2023. Stay tuned, I'm really excited. Yeah, so yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.